South America. Tropical rainforest. Anyone who hears these terms will probably think of the Amazon rainforest, a prime example of biodiversity and untouched nature. It is easy to forget that South America harbors other rainforest biomes with a much smaller extent, whose species richness is in no way inferior to the world's largest tropical rainforest. Today we will turn our attention to the Amazon's little brother. Welcome to the Atlantic rainforest of Brazil. Welcome to the jungle. As expected, our journey begins in a downpour. When it rains here, it usually rains hard. Water is certainly not in short supply during the rainy season. We are in the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo, not far from the Atlantic coast. Once, the rainforest found here covered the entire east coast of Brazil. Today, only 7% of this original spread remains. Nonetheless, the air fills with life as soon as the rain is over. The Mata Atlantica, as this forest is called locally, is one of the most biodiverse regions in the whole world. The tiger rat snake is one of more than 750 reptiles and amphibian species that find a home in this unique biome. This animal, which is about one and a half meters long, is on the hunt. It is no threat to humans, but is looking for other prey. The snake has spotted the nest of a pale-breasted thrush on top of a high tree. The way to the desired meal is long and demanding. And the thrush doesn't seem to like the idea of losing its offspring as an afternoon snack. The raid is postponed to another day. A thorough look around reveals an enormous variety of other reptiles. Some of which can only be found at second glance. A look upwards is even more rewarding. Numerous primate species can be discovered in the jungle trees. While the New World monkeys are usually of small size, one species in this forest is a clear exception. The southern woolly spider monkeys not only have a complicated name, but are also America's largest primates and endemic to the Atlantic rainforest. The peaceful animals spend their life exclusively in the lofty heights of the treetops and are known for their distinct social life and a relaxed nature. Despite their size, they move effortlessly through the branches in search of food. The tail serves as the fifth limb. 
Unfortunately, their population has declined dramatically in recent decades due to the shrinking habitat. Today, estimates put the number of individuals in the wild at around 1400. Observing these endangered animals in their natural environment is a great privilege. In this region, the spider monkeys share the forest with howler monkeys and capuchin monkeys. The latter are distributed over large parts of the southern Mata Atlantica and are the most common monkey species in many regions. Now, during the wet season, the small primates find plenty of food. Therefore, they can spend more time doing the important things, like resting, socializing or playing. In an area where the annual rainfall is around 2.5 times higher than in Germany, the next waterfall is usually just around the corner. Even here, in the midst of the turmoil, life unfolds unhindered. The faint call of an amphibian can be heard through the roar of the water. A frog is looking for a mate. To be successful under these difficult conditions, a creative strategy is needed. The amphibian therefore supports its call with visual stimuli by waving its feet. We keep our fingers crossed that the efforts will soon be rewarded. An impressive herpetofauna. The peaceful spider monkey and South America's largest land mammal. The list of reasons for preserving the Mata Atlantica is long. Besides protecting local wildlife, the conservation of the biome contributes to the local economy through ecotourism. Moreover, the rainforest is a carbon sink and thus has a direct impact on the local and global climate. If your path should ever take you to South America in the future, don't forget to pay a visit to the Atlantic rainforest. I am convinced that foreign visitors can help to emphasize the economic value of the forest to local people and promote environmental awareness. Volunteering in a local conservation project can be another way of contributing to the protection of this hotspot of biodiversity. Let us preserve what's left of this beautiful forest. Let us save the refuge of spider monkey, coral snake and thousands more.